So let us recall the definition of a closed system. So a closed system is essentially an object that we're studying in which the amount of mass remains constant but energy is allowed to increase or decrease. So let's suppose we're studying the following object. So everything else outside the system is known as the surroundings. And if this is a closed system, that implies that the number of molecules within our system remains constant but energy is allowed to exchange with the surroundings. So energy can either flow into our system or flow out of our system. Now let's try to devise this relationship between the flow of energy, between the flow in and the flow out. This relationship is known as the first law of thermodynamics. So before we derive this relationship, let's discuss the types of energy transfers that are possible. So energy is able to transfer in one of two ways. We have heat and work. So heat is essentially the transfer of energy as a result of a difference in temperature. For example, if we have two objects which are in contact with one another, energy will flow from the hotter object to the cooler object until thermal equilibrium is established. Now, the second type of energy transfer is known as work. And work is essentially the transfer of energy as a result of an applied force. So, for example, if we take an object and we raise that object a certain distance h, then that object gains potential energy. It gains energy in the form of mass times g times h. So, that is known as work. So because there are only two types of transfers of energy, that means we can derive the following relationship. Now before we give the first law of thermodynamics, let's recall what internal energy is. The internal energy of a closed system or any system is the sum of all the energies of the molecules and atoms found in our system. So we basically have the following relationship. The change in internal energy of our closed system is equal to the net energy that is transferred into our system as a result of a change in temperature plus the net change in energy as a result of the work done by or on our system. So the Q is the energy transfer as a result of the heat and the W is the energy transfer as a result of work. So notice if the Q net is positive, that means energy is transferred into our system from the surroundings. If the W net is positive, that means work is done on our system by the surroundings. If the Q net is negative, that means energy is transferred out of our system into our surroundings. And finally, if the W net is negative, that means energy is done by our system on the surroundings. So let's look at the following example in which we're going to use the first law of thermodynamics. So if 3000 joules of heat is added to our system and 2000 joules of work is done by the system, calculate the change in internal energy. So let's begin by looking at our diagram. So we know that heat flows into our system and we know that the work is done by the system on the surrounding. So that means energy is transferred out of our system as a result of the work done by the system. So our W is negative and our Q net is positive. So the Q net is 3000 joules and the W net is 2000 joules and it's negative because it flows out. So that means we have 3000 joules minus 2000 joules gives us 1000 joules. So the change in internal energy of our system is 1000 joules. So that means it gains 1000 joules of energy.